running sucks, right? Well, I like to say improper running sucks. Running or proper running is a skill, something that just like any other complex movement needs to be worked through and needs to be perfected or at least enhanced by working through it and learning the proper mechanics. And so if you don't want to take my word for it, check this out. And I think a lot of people run incorrectly today. Humans have been running for millions of years. Most of that time we were running barefoot. So we're kind of curious, how did people run before shoes? And what we learned was that today shoes have these cushioned heels that enable you to essentially run the way you walk, right? You land on your heel. Everybody who's barefoot sometimes lands on their heel, but people who are barefoot often more often than not, land on the ball of their foot and then they let their heel down. It's called a forefoot strike or a midfoot strike. And when you do that, you actually prevent your foot from crashing into the ground, causing what's called an impact, a collisional force. You run lightly and gently. So if you were to take your shoes off and run up Lexington Avenue here, I guarantee you, you would not be landing on your heels. If within a few steps, you'd start landing on the ball of your foot because it hurts less. And so that's how we evolved to run. We evolved to run in a way that, that doesn't involve slamming into the ground with every step. That causes less force around your knee. The trade-off though, because nothing comes for free, everything has trade-offs, is that it's harder on your ankles. Your calf muscles and your Achilles have to do now a lot more work to let your heel down. And so people who switch from heel striking to forefoot striking often have Achilles tendon problems, they get calf muscle problems, they don't do it properly, they'll get their foot muscles aren't strong enough, they'll get all kinds of foot problems, right? So you can't just suddenly become a barefoot runner and start forefoot striking. If you're going to switch, you have to switch gradually and slowly and build up strength and learn to do it properly. Another thing people do is they tend to run like a ballerina high up on their toes. That's really hard on your ankles and your calves. So you got to do it properly, but if you, but it can have enormous benefits. And so. And we know, again, if you run that way, this puts, puts much less force on your knees. And again, knees are where people get injured the most. So I think a lot of knee injuries come from the way in which we run.